Greetings, fellow Empyreans. I am Ashrathi, and this is a quick tutorial video. Uh, I know that a lot of people have heard from me that the radial menu is extremely important, and I agree with this. Many older players never got used to the radial menu, and I sincerely believe that knowing how to use the radial menu is pivotal to proper piloting. So I just wanted to go over a couple of things about it and why it's so useful. First of all, uh, one of the biggest reasons why people don't like it is because it's set by default to the left mouse button. And the left mouse button you use to drag your camera, use it to drag your drones, and having the radial menu pop up in those cases is really bad. And so most people see it as just a problem. If you go to your escape menu and then into general settings in the center, there's open radial menu with, right? And you can switch it from the left mouse button to any of the others. I recommend right mouse button because you already use right mouse button to mean interact with something anyways. You use it to open up the uh, drop down menu. And so if you put it on the right mouse button, then that way you can do radial and drop down with the same button, depending on whether or not you click versus long click. Uh, other people have t other techniques. This is just mine. You can also t turn down or up the radial menu delay to find out how long you have to click and hold before it pops up. So once you've moved it to the correct uh, key, it becomes a lot more friendly. You can now left click on things without worrying about accidentally popping up the radial menu instead of moving the camera or uh, not deploying your drones or whatever. So now let's talk about the radial menu itself. So if you use the radial menu on any kind of object that you can interact with, almost anywhere, uh, the radial menu will pop up. This is in the overview. If you set a destination, um, let's just add his first waypoint. Okay, so now I have something in my waypoint list here. You can actually radial menu off of this. So that way if you don't if you don't see it in the list, like for instance right now, if you're in Jita and it's hard to find the Stargate, if you have any confusion because of all of this garbage, which you can get rid of by the way, uh, just right click, remove mobile depot from overview. Oh, look at that. There's still a bunch of garbage. So in the event that maybe sometimes I have difficulty seeing the yellow or whatever, over here you can radial menu off of this and just go straight up. Uh, likewise, you can, um, oh, you can't radial off your capacitor, but there's, there's all kinds of different places where you can radial menu. Um, additionally, there is the broadcast radial menu. So the key here is that no matter what kind of thing you're interacting with, the same gesture does the same kind of action. So up into the left is a warp. And the further pulled from the center you get, the that controls how the, the warp to within. Uh, and this is really important, especially if you're in Faction Warfare or other places where you might be warping sometimes to 10, sometimes to 100, sometimes to 0. You know, like uh, anywhere in the inner bound will be your default. And then past that, it gets set by the distance. Um, radial up is interact. And so, in this case, since it's a station, it's dock. But if I go to a, a Stargate, it's jump. If I go to a ship, it's board, although I can't because it's occupied. Uh, if I go to planet, it's interact. It's view the planetary interaction. Uh, so, yeah, radial menu up is always like an interaction. It's also to open up cans and stuff. Um, radial menu to the left. Speaking of cans, let's just quickly drop my mobile depot. I'll add to the mess. And then I can radial menu to the right to orbit it. And in the same way that warp allows you to or, uh, warp at various different distances, orbit also allows you to set a distance up to 30. So you can have your default, which is pretty normal, but that's based on the ship class. So like all your frigates will be the same. Uh, I'm pretty sure. If you go like this, you can manually decide how much you want to orbit with um, per orbit, which is really nice. Or if you're not the orbiting kind, you can go to radial menu down 
and to the right and do a keep it range, which is the exact same thing, except for obviously with a keep it range instead of orbit. Uh, if you are a blaster boat or, you know, whatever, you've got radial menu da uh, down into the left, which is approach. Um, and if you need to, you can always, here's another good one. If you need to lock somebody really quick, you can, of course, use control click. But let's say it's out here and you can just go. You don't want to accidentally get the wrong thing. So once you get it, you see, oh, I'm on the menu, mobile depot. That's great. And then down, boom, lock. What I like even more, though, is that once it is locked, if you radial menu it again, you unlock. Now you can always shift control click. So you've got shift, you've got control click and then shift control click, right? Yeah. Um, but the radial menu, to me, just the muscle memory of that and also being able to specify like which ones uh, de-lock with just a right mouse button down uh, seems very handy to me. I use it to lock significantly less than unlock. Um, if you need to make a bookmark, you can always do a... No brackets is kind of not working anymore. There we go. Uh, if you need to make a bookmark, you can always go radial menu right and up. Uh, likewise, right and down is look at, track, and in this case, use fitting services because it's a mobile depot. Um, it even has a scoop to cargo hold radio. Wow, I didn't even realize that. I need to start using that more. There you go. Uh, and then, of course, radio left is show info. And I think that might about do it. So, yeah, there's... There's several different functionalities for the radial. Um, mostly I use it for warping, orbit, uh, and then like my other like approach or keep it range, especially approach. And anything that you would go up here to click or you'd have to find the, the element and then click it with a hotkey. If I'm doing other things, uh, hi, Mike. Just got a podcast done with Mike Azariah. We'll have that out soon. I'm excited. But at um, any rate, all of those kinds of actions, you learn how to do it with the radial menu. This is really important because even if you can do a drop-down menu, which a lot of people do, the key is is that it, once you get this missile memory trained in, it becomes so fast to just be able to radial menu no matter what. You're never lost in your UI because you can always get to a, a radial menu element and then do those basic actions to it. Um, so it's a, something I strongly recommend. Something I strongly do not recommend is running the Abyss and Jita, especially on grid with 4.4. This person, somebody needs to punish this person. But until then, that has been how to use the radial menu. I have been Asherathi. Till next time, I'll see you in space. <laughs>